With Mother's Day approaching, parents who become step-parents, especially new step-mothers through second marriages, have been asking me how they can do a good job in this new role. Well, everything's relative, so let me provide some information on step-parenting. Becoming a step-parent can be a most rewarding experience. If you've never had children, becoming a step-parent offers you the chance to help shape the character of your stepson or daughter. If you do have children, your role as a step-parent can be critical in creating a supportive environment between siblings and half-siblings. On the other hand, trying to parent when an ex-wife or husband is still in the picture can be confusing sometimes and may lead to some conflict. So what do I recommend? First, step-parents and biological parents must be unified as a team and support each other and in turn be unified in how they plan to parent their children and stepchildren. Second, be patient and understand the intensity of the feelings involved. Children mourning a divorce or maybe the loss of a deceased parent need time to heal before they can accept a new step-parent. Let the child or children set the pace. It may even be a few years before a deeper, more meaningful relationship can actually develop. Other factors that make each step-parenting experience a little bit different can depend on the age of the children, how long you've known them, how well your spouse gets along with the ex-spouse, and how much time the kids spend with you. Third, to truly succeed as a step-parent, put the needs of your stepchildren first, not their wants. Meaning, give the kids love, affection, and consistent rules, and not toys and treats to buy their love. A great idea is to create new family traditions with stepkids, such as a family game night, bike rides, and other fun activities that your stepkids may not have done before. Finally, respect all parents involved, including your partner's ex. Don't use the children as messengers or go-betweens, asking them for information or intelligence gathering when they are at the ex's home. Instead, do the communication work yourself, should questions or issues arise between birth and step-parent, so that hopefully tips like this will be a step in the right direction when it comes to knowing what you need to do to be a superb step-parent. This is pediatrician Dr. Lewis First from the University of Vermont Children's Hospital, wishing all step-parents, step-mothers, and all mothers a happy Mother's Day and reminding you to always be first with your kids.